Hey guys, what's up? Andre here from Beefu Techie, here with a completely new updated guide for streaming with a Blackmagic Intensity shuttle on the Mac or any type of Blackmagic device that you can actually get to work on your Mac. Um, this basically goes for the Intensity Pros if you have a Hackintosh um, Intensity Shuttle USB 3, Intensity Shuttle um, Thunderbolt things like that. The device that we're going to actually use today is the Intensity Thunderbolt. So, um, just bear with me. I am just trying to uh, situate this a little bit better. Um, so yeah, basically we're going to do this from an Intensity shuttle for Thunderbolt. So first things first, you're going to need this program called Black Siphon. Now as you guys can see, Black Siphon in the name, Black Siphon. Siphon, which is a process that allows you to capture video frames as if you were screen capping, which is something familiar to a lot of people who stream on PCs or have known about streaming on PCs. You screen cap it and things like that. Um, Black Siphon, based, like Siphon is a new way of doing this it actually takes the actual video and puts it someplace else so I think that's the best way for me to describe it so with black siphon as you guys can see we have the intensity shuttle Thunderbolt that's there I have tons of black magic devices but um because for this demonstration I'm gonna use the intensity shuttle to show you guys what's going on um, I'm now turning on my PlayStation to make sure that you guys can actually see exactly what's going on. But um, for the Intensity Shuttle for Thunderbolt, you basically have to choose it, and then you choose the mode that you want to use in. So being that I'm sh pretty much have my console set to 720-5994, I go ahead and I select that, and as you can see, a video pops up. Now, the interesting thing is, is that with the video popping up you guys won't hear audio you won't hear audio at all so I guess the best way for you to actually get audio into your stream is one of two things um, you can pretty much go to Radio Shack and you can purchase an RCA to 3.5 3.5 cable which will basically look like this you're gonna need a cable that's kinda like this where basically it has RCA on one end and then it has the input jack on the other side basically you're gonna take these two cables and you're gonna plug them into the intensity let's see I'm gonna pull up a black magic intensity so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about alright so on the intensity shuttle well, let's pick the actual one we're using they both are identical now you're going to want to use one of these ports here the white and the red which is probably going to be on the other side because seeing as the side that they're showing us is the actual in because I know exactly how this device is there's an in and then there's an out the out is on the other side the in is on this side but on the other side you'll basically connect the red and white from this cable there oh what the hell the red and white from this cable you'll plug it in to this part of here and then you'll take that other end of the cable and connect this into your line in now one thing I've noticed that if you guys have a MacBook Pro with Retina display, you guys actually do not have a line in. You guys only have speakers that come out. Now, if you guys have um, a MacBook Pro with Retina display without the line in, I would suggest getting yourself a USB um, audio device. You can pretty much find any of them. So that this way you actually get that extra line in. Um, one device that I actually suggest to get is the Creative, hold on, I gotta get the actual name because I'm holding it in my hand. It is a Sound Blaster XFI, 
and it's a USB device and it's you can actually get this one too you could get this one or you could get the older one if you could find it um, it, it's really great especially since it has line in mic in audio out and things like that it also has a speaker out um, a rear and a sub and an optical out as well and to connect via USB you are pretty much would be set with audio if you were to use something like this now it's not this exact one hold on let's see if I can actually I'm not gonna be able to find it but you, you need something that's USB 2 USB audio device I'll basically um, give you a line in so that this way you can actually do that so once you have this cable and all that plugged in you're pretty much all set so you're gonna take the black siphon and you're gonna open up OBS now in OBS I already have this stuff set up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of it so that this way you guys can see the actual setup of this so as you guys can see this mic is actually going up because I actually have a mixer and <coughs> I would always suggest using a mixer over anything else because it just makes your job so much easier rather than doing things this way. But that's for another video. I'm going to do another video on that. Um, so now to add the video source, you're going to go ahead and click the plus sign and then you're going to go to Siphon. Now you can see here, you can be like, okay, black Siphon. So this is going to be whatever input. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say console. All right. So then I'm going to pick the source, and I'm going to pick Black Siphon. Well, I'm going to pick Black Siphon. And once I pick it, it automatically populates it. So I could go ahead and close that window, and as you can see, it's in the full aspect ratio. Now, as you guys can tell, there's no audio. Now, I can't demonstrate this because being that I'm using the line in right now to from my mixer into here, it's not as simple for me to just do. So... What you're going to do basically do is go ahead, put your line in, and then in the settings, being that I am using the line in here, it, it's perfect. So you can go to the audio, and then you're going to use the built-in input. Okay, once you have that set, go ahead, you hit OK. You know, you can, um, you could do this where, you know, you could go to something that will have audible audio. We'll go ahead and start with the Jackbox Party Pack. And as you guys can see, as you guys can see, that meter is going, and I'm pretty sure you can hear it in the video, because it obviously is being heard in the video. So once you're able to hear it and see that it's making this little bar right over here go ahead and move around, you're pretty much safe to say that, hey, I can pretty much stream with audio that's not lagging. Now... Other methods of people were using was using Soundflower and Audio Hijack and things like that. I'll be honest with you, Audio Hijack is great, but it delays the audio and it delays it pretty bad. Like it could be up to anywhere from three to four seconds behind. And that makes for an unpleasant, unpleasant stream experience. So I would suggest getting that cable. You can probably get that cable probably cheaper on Amazon. Well, let's take a look. You can probably get it cheaper on Amazon. Let's uh, see. What's it called? It's an RCA to 35 millimeter. See, like you can get it for three dollars and ninety-five cents. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get it overnight. Well, not overnight. You can get it in two days. But if I was to order this right now, I'll get it Monday. Well, actually, if I order right now, I'll get it Sunday. So, because it's the holiday season, I'll get it earlier. But that pretty much sums up how we would handle um, streaming from a Blackmagic device on a Mac. This is the MacBook Pro from 2012, so it's not a one with Retina display. So I have all the necessary ports in order to actually perform this type of stream. 
Anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask me these questions on Reddit. I'm always on the Twitch Reddit. Um, my user, my handle on there is Mr. Bifuteki. Um, if you guys want to email me questions, you guys can do that. It's Bifu, please. B-I-F-U-P-L-Z at B-I-F-U-T-E-K-I dot C-O-M. Um, the Reddit, if you want to send me a private message on there on Reddit, it's Mr. B I F U T E K I. So M R B I F U T E K I. Um, if you want to tweet at me to ask questions, you could go ahead. Um, the Twitter is at Bifuteki, which is again B I F U T E K I. And from there, you know, I, I'm accessible from all methods. So if you need to ask a question, you, you want some further help with some things, feel free to go ahead and, you know, send me a message. Alright guys, thanks.